Russia would target Selidov after Avdiivka. Russia's intentions to attack Selidov after Avdiivka are clear, Serhii Hamash, editor-in-chief of the Ukrainian Ostrov publication, said on Radio NV. If the situation in Avdiivka worsens and the front line continues to shift, then it is obvious that the next city that Russia will try to capture will be Selidov, Hamash said. He expressed concern about the changing nature of Russian shelling in the city. If a few days ago I was sure that they were still targeting military objectives, or at least areas where they believe our military is, given the city's frontline status, now I have the impression that they have adopted scorched earth tactics. Indeed, there are a lot of hits on non-military targets, Hamash said. Russia launched attacks on civilian infrastructure in Selidov, Donetsk Oblast, including a hospital and a five-story apartment block on February the 14th. Russia has been spreading fakes about the big losses of the Ukrainian armed forces near Selidov, Tavria Operational Group Commander Alexander Tarnavsky said. A training ground near Selidov was supposedly targeted, Russian propagandists claimed, resulting in about one and a half thousand people dying. This turned out to be yet another Russian fake. The fighting in Avdiivka, Donetsk Oblast, where additional units have redeployed as reinforcements, is many times more difficult than previous battles for Bakhmut, the deputy commander of the 3rd Separate Assault Brigade, Major Maxim Zorin said. The 3rd Brigade is performing combat missions in conditions that even we could hardly imagine. The soldiers are facing not just superior forces of the Russian army, but their numbers are huge and Russian forces are pushing from all sides.